something quite a few people asked me to talk about was flash photography um, for surfing. So it's something that I've experimented with quite a bit, but I haven't, um, I definitely wouldn't say I'm an expert and I definitely wouldn't say that I've um, got to a point where I'm really happy with my setup and, and everything. So this is another one of those, those uh, courses where hopefully my experience will help you uh, get to past the, the initial um, barrier to, to trying it, but uh, I'm not gonna be able to offer you any sort of comprehensive advice. So I would check out the links below, which have a, a few more resources to using flash um, in photography in general and in surfing. But here's my take uh, so far on um, using flash in surf photography. So the most common type of flash you'll see in surf photos is um, basically a, a speed light, which is the name for like um, a, a camera mounted flash gun, basically. Um, and all the main brands have those available for the different brands of camera. So, um, and many of the water housing manufacturers uh, offer a housing specifically for that type of flash for a speed light. So Aquatech, SPL, you can buy off the shelf um, a housing that you can just drop your flash gun straight into, um, seal it up, and then <laughs> the hard part is connecting that to your camera and making it sure that when you shoot your fire the flat fire the shutter on your camera, the flash fires. The most reliable way I've used, um, and it isn't the one that any sort of professional surf photographer would use, is a dive style flash. So this is a um, a dive strobe that you use. It's designed to be used underwater, um, usually in a pair with two of them, where obviously you're quite deep and there's not much light underwater, so you need a lot of light to light up your subjects. But I've used this one um, for, this is an ST100 Pro from Seafrogs. Um, and I've used this one for flash photography above the water. Um, and it works. It, it's, it's probably, I mean, it looks bulky, but to be honest, it's, it's probably similar sort of um, size and weight to one of these professional speed lights in a housing. So um, that isn't the main, the main reason people don't use this, isn't the size. The main reason is um, you have to trigger it through this optical um, cord. So this is like a fiber optic cord. Basically, your the pop-up flash on your camera. So there it is on the Sony. Um, Canon cameras, Nikon, everyone else has this same thing on most of their models. If it's a professional camera, you might not have a pop-up flash because you're expected to use off-camera flash, but it doesn't matter. Basically, you fire, you set up your camera to shoot as if it's using this flash to light the scene, but inside the housing, it redirects this flash through this cord into a sensor that's built into this flash or whatever flash you happen to be using. I've also used um, a Fuji Nano flash, which is an inexpensive, these are really expensive by the way. Um, well, not this one in particular, but dive strobes in general are quite expensive. They're expensive bits of kit. The Fuji Nano Flash is the cheapest of the lot and it's waterproofed and it's really small and it uses the same technique where you just um, flash out of your camera, triggers this. So, um, so basically flash fires on your camera, the light from that flash travels through this cable and sets off a sensor here, which triggers the big flash, which lights up the scene. So I'll show you some examples of shots that I've taken of surf, which use this technique um, but if you've seen any professional surf photographers flash shots, the chances are they are using um, a cable, an electrical cable rather than optical cable to connect their hot shoe on the top of their camera. Hot shoe is simply the, um, the mount that you stick a flash into. So you get a cable that slots in there and then that goes through, through a waterproof bulkhead or sometimes there's a, there's a housing which incorporates the space for the flash as well. So you just literally pop the flash onto the camera as you would do normally. And then you put the whole thing in a water housing. I'll show you some pictures of those. Salty surf housings do one for the um, Sony A6 series. So you've connected basically your camera here to a flash which is outside in a housing. And when you press the button, it fires that flash. Um, the benefits of doing it that way rather than with the optical cable are it's more consistent and reliable. 
the electrical connection as long as it maintains the connection it will fire every time this optical one is, is less um, predictable although generally if you've got it set up right it should be fine but then you, these aren't designed to be used in the waves so you might find that this cable is, is knocked or something um, I haven't had any problems with mine but the main issue is this onboard flash takes quite a long time to recycle so rather than our um, high speed 11 frames a second that we're getting when we're just taking fisheye photos for instance what we're getting there is um, one shot wait for a second half a second whatever it happens to be two seconds another shot so you get one chance at getting a nice photo lit up with the flash of a wave and it's really hard to get the timing right um, so lots of try and error with this technique using these with the um with the, like the professional off-camera flash with the cape with the electrical cable then you'd normally get I, I believe it's like three or four in very quick succession not as fast as without a flash but certainly um, usable for surf photography to get two or three flashes of a wave as it goes past and often that's more than enough for a wave because they don't, they, they're quite quick and, and the action is over quite quickly anyway so if you wanted to go down that route then I would definitely make sure that your water housing supports that before you buy it so Aquatech, SPL, Salty Surf Housings, um, Liquid Eye have a look on their websites just double check that the one you're getting has a either a they all do it slightly differently as they think so there's like a flash bulkhead um, this is an Aquatech base housing not the brand new base 2 this is the original base and it's got a, um, a blanking plate here like a, a plug which you can take off and you can screw in um, the flash bulkhead I'll show you on this older Aquatech housing there's a flash bulkhead there you take that off and then you can plug in a waterproof electrical cable there and then you can attach a flash to the top um, if you want to go down that route then you can find out lots more information about it um, I think flash photography is great fun um, on camera flash is great fun uh, the, the experiences I've had doing it have been really rewarding um, but it's been a lot more hassle setting it up making trying to make things work because um, I'm not prepared I don't have the professional speed lights for a start there they're, they're going to run you a few hundred dollars um, so I don't have the experience to using those in other types of photography so uh, there's a learning curve there that I'd have to meet um, I don't have the housing necessarily that works with that one so it's a it's a big investment in time and money to get this sort of rig going um, the bits I've done have I think brought given me pretty good results for the investment I've made but they certainly don't match up to uh, the Leroy Bellet's um, in the tube flash fisheye shots for instance that I think are probably the ones that spring to mind when I think of surf flash photography at the moment um, so yeah I, I've done a few experiments but um, like I say there's lots more you can learn about this that, that's beyond my uh, experience so far um, one other thing I will mention just quickly is um, remote flash and it used to be I think there was a bit of a trend for it um, it came from skate photography um, I believe I'll put some links in, in the resources so you can learn a bit more about it like I did you don't have the flash mounted on the top of the housing you have it completely separate and it's triggered wirelessly from um, a transmitter inside the housing or on an extra bit of housing on top and a receiver with the flash so pocket wizard is the brand name of the most well-known transmitter receiver system but you can get um, lots of different options I've tried it myself with a, a much cheaper brand um, young Nuo. they make flash um, they make lots of different accessories for cameras uh, but especially flashes that are very inexpensive and um, remote triggers which are quite inexpensive as well so I've experimented with making a little waterproof housing for one of their Young Nuo flash units putting a remote trigger on there um, sticking that to a stick <laughs> whacking that into the sand in the shore break and then moving away and taking photos transmitting the flash signal to the to the flash so the flash goes off over there somewhere um, and I'm over here and it just gives you a, a 
different dynamic look. Um, things that surf photographers have done is make that get that waterproof flash housing and have someone swimming in the lineup holding it whilst someone uh, a surfer does an air performs a maneuver near that person and then on the land or boat or wherever the photographer takes the photo triggers the flash and you get this this really unique effect um which i've i, I kind of played around with it like i said with my kind of budget setup um i'd recommend doing it it's really good fun um but again it's a step a couple of steps below the level of uh, experience and commitment and investment that you need to um to really pull off something professional looking um although saying that i mean i'm really happy with the results i got so if um if you're out there and you wanted to experiment with this budget end surf photography flash stuff then um by all means give me a shout um, send me an email, leave me a comment and I'll, I'll do my best to help out more. But hopefully this has given you a kind of inspiration to try and um, get just the first step along that stage to flash photography for surfing.